If you want to take better selfies with your phone, then you might want to check out this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You want to take some selfies? Maybe you like looking at yourself. And sometimes you use that front-facing camera, and that's okay. They have gotten better, but they always put the best cameras on the back. Mm -hmm. In the back. That's where they keep the good stuff. If you're ever going to a store and you find stuff on the shelf, well, that's not the good stuff. They always keep the good stuff in the back. And here is this little mirror, and this is a really low-tech device. What's happening? But you can see me right there. But it's a little convex, bulges out a little bit, so that it gives you a little bit of a fisheye look. But it will attach via the MagSafe to the back of your iPhone. And if you have a MagSafe case for your Android, which I do too, that should just stick on there. So it'll just kind of pop on, be held in place right in the middle of your phone and not fall off until you want it to. Then what you can do is use this to kind of frame yourself to make sure that you're in that shot, to make sure it looks good, to make sure you look good. Also, because you don't have that screen facing you, you can't see what you're framing up behind you or if someone's behind you giving you the rabbit ears or about to give you that wedge so what I thought we would do here is go ahead and put this on a phone and then see if I can film with the back camera and it looks like I'm being guided by the screen when I'm using the front camera. Let's try it out. All right, so I went ahead and I put the mirror on my phone. So the camera lens is right there and the mirror is right there. I'm looking at that and I'm kind of looking at what you see behind me. I'm just kind of putting myself right in the middle of the mirror itself and you can see my TV back here, my painting up here. And what I like about this is that the back camera here is a better camera, higher resolution than my front facing camera. And on top of that, it tends to have better image stabilization. So especially when I'm walking around like this, when I'm using that front camera, I kind of notice that it looks a little like jittery, right? You kind of get that in a lot of TikTok videos and like the YouTube shorts because people are filming with the front camera and are moving around. But if I'm doing this and moving around and just walking around, I can see the camera bounce a little bit because I don't have the steadiest hands. But hopefully we are getting rid of some of that. It's shooting better, more stabilized video. And I can see what else is in the video. So if I wanted to be like, hey, check out my Hisense TV right here, I can show that to you because I can see that it's right behind me here. I'm covering up about a third of it, at least in the mirror. So kind of compare that to what you're seeing in real life here. But what I love about this is it's just such a low tech way of using the back cameras, the better cameras, without having to have some sort of expensive or high tech contraption. Very cheap, very easy to use, carry it with you anywhere. If you have a MagSafe case on your phone or if you have a modern iPhone with MagSafe, it's gonna work with any of those. So if you wanna pick up this little tiny mirror, which I just stuck on my phone, so that I can demo stuff with the best camera available, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.